What's going on, uh, YouTube watchers? People that watch YouTube. Uh, I've been busy. We just got done cutting and belling hay and all that stuff. I have decided to go ahead and start stripping down this Escalade, what used to be an Escalade. Pull the motor and transmission, put it on this frame here. <clears throat> and then I realized this frame had a V6 in it. So, of course, uh, a buddy of mine, Eric, he had the same problem going through the same issues. If he watches this video, um, I just had to swap out this motor mount right here. One that kicks out right here and the motor bolted in. And actually the passenger side mount on that Tahoe Escalade fit. So I just used the passenger side mount on that Escalade. And it fit right in. Everything fits. The transmission lines up. Lines up straight with the rear end. It's good to go. But anyway, as you've seen, I went ahead and pulled the motor out and everything. Getting this thing ready. Got the gas tank put back in. I guess next I need to pull the gas tank down on this Escalade. And um, the sending unit should be the same in all of them pull the sending unit out put in there and then all i have to worry about is fuel lines i'll have to get fuel lines for a short bed regular cab or something a v8 truck or something you can see that is the motor out of this thing see here's the driver's side mount that goes to this escalade that wouldn't work they were saying a lot of different people were saying a lot of different things when i looked it up but they were saying the driver's side mount, you have to get out of a truck. And one person actually said the passenger side mount on a Tahoe or SUV would work, which luckily it did work. So I went out to Andy's. I got the uh, driver's side motor mount, frame mount, motor mount. I got that. I got a headlight bezel, uh, some pigtails for uh, the parking lights and turn signal lights because, you know, Escalade going to Escalade to Tahoe front end or, or uh, Silverado front end. I need the pigtails to go into the parking lamps. Uh, that, all that basically, he, he he charged me only 20 bucks for all that. You know, when I was looking online on eBay, there was some people that wanted 40 bucks a piece for those frame to motor mounts. And I was like, you gotta be, you can go fuck yourself. 40 bucks for both, maybe. But, you know, I could tell Andy, he was just charging whatever, you know, just 20 bucks, a $20 bill for everything. You know, I had a hodgepodge of stuff there, some bolts and stuff, you know, a handful of stuff. But, yeah, motor's on, transmission's on. It's only a 4L65E, but it should hold up just fine behind a stock LQ9. I know somebody's probably going to say, oh, you need a 4L80. No, not right now. It'd work just fine in that Escalade. It'll work just fine in this truck that should be lighter. Uh, got the rear end put together. Oh, that reminds me. I think I know. If you guys remember, a while back, I pulled the uh, the uh, the front end stuff off of it, and I think the uh, torque the transfer case was burnt up. Well, I think I know why. Because somebody, some dumb fuck, put a wrecking yard rear end in this thing. And I guess they didn't check the gear ratios. Because if we come in here and look, this is an Escalade, of course. There should be a sticker in here that tells you. Uh, let's see, where is it? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, T, 4, G, 80. So, G, T, 4 is 373, which is what the front differential was. The back was 342. So, there you go. That's why it burnt up, because some idiot put the wrong gear ratio in the back. There you go. Somebody ruined the whole Escalade. But anyway, because I opened that case up, I thought, well, I'm going to get me some 373 gears. And even though the G80 is shitty, it, it's better than an open differential. Well, 
Well, I was completely wrong. I opened the freaking rear end up and it was a open freaking spider gears and a damn 342. So I just put spider gears back in this thing. And I mean, it rotates as smooth as ever now. But I was gonna use like the, the axles and everything out of that rear end. No, can't do that. Cause them axle, that rear end is in worse shape than this rear end was. I mean, there wasn't a bunch of metal in it, but um, the axles were the, uh, uh, out here where the axle bearings are, it was just pitted and rough and grooved up. You know, like that, that rear end has a lot of miles on it. Somebody threw in a high mileage piece of shit rear end in that Escalade. Because I was like, 166,000 miles, that's not bad for one of these 99 throw sixes. Usually they're in, they're in half-ass good shape if you half-ass take care of them. But that was just neglect. Like, I don't know. I've, I've changed the fluid for the first time on some rear ends that had almost 200,000 miles. And they almost look like new on the inside, i.e. one of my uncle's trucks. You know, pulled the pan down, looked at the spider gears and everything. It looked perfectly fine. And his truck had over 200,000 miles. Never changed the fluid in it. So anyway, it still, it still makes a little bit of noise. But, I mean, I think it'll be 100 times better than it was. I mean, it's just, it's smooth. There's a little bit of resistance there. A little bit of slack in it. You know, whatever your backlash should be. But I think that'll be perfectly fine. And it'll just be an open, a weak ass open differential for now. And then one day when I find an actual LSD or something to put in it, uh, oh, excuse me, then I may swap the bearings out and, oh, excuse me, other stuff. But I bet the 342, that Escalade, the, uh, at 70 miles an hour, it was hovering right at 2,000 RPM. So the 342 gear for this thing might be perfect. Because I'm planning on running these 20s for now. And the tire size I want to run is a 295-40, I think. It's either a 40 or 45. 295, 40 or 45. Uh, which should be like maybe a quarter of an inch uh shorter than these factory size tires the factory tire that should come on a v8 single cab which is a 255 70 16 so it'll be like just a tiny bit shorter so in my uncle's truck i think he's got a long bed single cab a 102 model i think his his is a 4.8 liter i think he's got 342 gears but I, I I can't remember. But it may be a little bit of a dog. But I'm hoping I'm hoping with that 6.0, it'll have enough torque. It'll be about like a factory 5.3 truck with like 373 gears or something. I know that the LQ9 has to make just a little bit more grunt than a 5.3, and it it should push push those 342s just fine. But that's where I'm at now. I just got the motor mounts put in. Got everything set up and got the mounts tightened to the frame. The frame mounts tightened to the frame. And I'm going to pull this motor back out one more time. I'm going to go ahead and get a uh, oil pan gasket. Replace that. I'm not going to do the front cover or the back. The back seal didn't look like it was leaking when I had the transmission out. And the front cover... It wasn't really that wet underneath the uh, front main seal, the front crank seal, rather, pulley seal. But I do want to replace the uh, the oil pan gasket because it always stayed wet under there. And, of course, change the oil, uh, drain the oil, change the filter. Uh, the, pickup tube, the pickup tube O-ring, change that, of course. Clean out the pan. See how dirty it is in there. But yeah, and then I'm gonna throw it back in here permanently and tighten everything down. And then I'll start with the exhaust, see how it fits, since there's not a cab on top. Uh, 
some stuff I got to be wary of because I don't the, the the floor of the cab. I don't know how far it'll go down. Like the exhaust, if it fits, it should be the same floor plan as that Tahoe. Just you know, it shouldn't have to do anything. I would think. The big thing I need now is fuel lines. I need fuel lines for a single cab, short bed, uh, V8 truck. I've seen some people on eBay, they sell like these nylon line kits that you can custom make to uh, replace the steel lines. I don't know, I'm, I'll look into that, but I really, if I could find just, you know, a set that's will unbolt, and I don't know, I don't know if a long bed would be the same because there's a long bed out there at Andy's and it looked like the gas tank stops at the same spot under the cab. So maybe the fuel, the steel part of the fuel lines will snap into either or, a long or short bed, you know, but it has to be a single cab. And then once I get the fuel lines, man, I don't know, that's about it. I just have to save up for another fucking cab. Which Andy has one out there. He said he would sell me for 200 bucks. And it does have a clean title. But it don't have a title. And if I do a bonded title. They may want to see the truck. And like inspect the frame and everything. So he told me it's best just to find a cab with a clean title. Which is what I should have done in the very beginning. But no my dumbass. Oh this cab's closer. Even though it don't have a title. Well yeah that bit me right in the ass. But anyway, that's enough rambling. I guess I will pick back up whenever I make more progress uh, to this frame right here. You know, we're, we're tossing the building a single cab cheaper than buying one out the window because, like I said, I kind of cheated. I already had an Escalade over there with the motor and transmission. And that motor and transmission right there is 2500 1500 I don't know, some ridiculous number that some idiot wants to pay for a LQ9. It's a 6.0, whatever. To me, it's not worth a thousand bucks or 500 bucks, but anyway. <clears throat> uh, other than the fuel lines, the brake lines, I need to carry the brake lines to Lufkin and get them uh, flared. Try to get them flared. Just one flare here connect here i'm not going to be doing any lock brakes it's just going to be straight lines to the master cylinder so really a t a straight fitting three maybe th one two three four uh flares that's something i may want to wait for the cab to be put on i mean i could put this rear line on and it the the second section of the rear line comes to right here i can go ahead and flare this and put the connection on it then the front piece, I don't know. I think the cab stops about right here and the firewall goes up right here. So the master cylinder is right here. But I'd like to be sure about that. And then this uh, rack and pinion, I need to order a seal kit for it. I just, you know, I've been contemplating about that on eBay, looking for something that's legit you have to sift through all the Chinese garbage on eBay. And trust me, there's a lot of it. I'm trying to find something that looks half-ass decent that's in the U.S. of A. And not shipping out from fucking whatever. Bang, blah, 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 China. Some fucking bullshit. Whatever. No offense. But anyway. <clears throat> Alright, guys. That's about it for now. I need to go inside. My nose is about completely stopped up. I need to overdose on some allergy medicine and probably take a nap or something. I mowed some yards today and uh, overheated myself in the car that don't have AC. So, yeah. You guys have a great day or night whenever you watch this and take care.